Staying with our coverage of the pre-election scramble, while Moon Jae-in and An Cho-soo battle it out at the top of the opinion polls, the other candidates are looking to raise their profile so they have a fighting chance on May 9th. Shin Zemin has more on that. With the nation's big decision day inching closer every minute, Korea's presidential hopefuls, those not so much in the headlines as the two frontrunners of the race, were also out and about, garnering support from the Korean people. On feet, on the ground to win the hearts of the average Koreans, the two conservative presidential candidates amped up their journeys to the top office in traditional conservative strongholds, also known as one of the crucial key swing vote provinces. For Hong Jun-pyo, the presidential candidate for the conservative Liberty Korea Party, Monday was the first official day as a top office hopeful. He spent a day stumping for his party member running for the by-elections in the region, while criticism poured in for his extra-late resignation from his Gyeongsangnam-do governor post, a move seen by many as an abuse of loophole in the election law to effectively block a by-election for his former post while safely putting him in the race for the top office. The current law states that a civil servant running for president should resign from the post at least a month prior to the election, and that the local election supervisor must be notified of a gubernatorial opening also at least a month prior to the provincial by-election date. The splinter conservative Biden party's Yoo Seung-min criticized Hong's resignation, saying that Hong, with a legal background, cheated the people and called for a revision to related laws to fill the loopholes. In the conservative stronghold, Yoo also went out to meet locals eye to eye, pledging a stronger foundation to support the local economy if he's elected president. Meanwhile, Shim Sang-jung of the Progressive Justice Party pushed for a revision of the Constitution that includes a decentralization of the government to better empower local governments. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.